Hola, buenos dias, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this planner setup. So grateful to have you here. Thank you to all the new people who have subscribed to my channel and have left such kind comments down below. It really means the world to me. Thank you so much. Big hugs, big virtual hugs from your girl, Four Lizard. A cheers to you. Clink. I have here my LaCroix with some ice. It's hot down here in Southern California. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, just heat waves have really been rolling all over the country. So I'm hope, I hope you're staying cool out there. And I hope you're having a beautiful and blessed Sunday. It's currently Sunday afternoon here in San Diego, California. I'm sitting outside in my backyard in front of my garden and this is my happy place. Welcome to my happy place. Anyways, I'm super chatty because I just got back from vacation and so I'm feeling super charged and I have a lot of awesome planner content to show you. I brought my planner with me on vacation and I was crafting to my heart's content and so I have a lot of cool stuff to show you. So um, in today's video, I'm going to be flipping through my functional mega happy planner so i call it my mega happy planner because i have eight happy planners combined into one into this one big bad boy she's in my leopard portfolio i'm gonna be flipping through all of my sections in here showing you all of the spreads i filled out last week as well as the um, spreads I've planned for next week but I haven't filled in. So if you're interested in checking out my planner setup, my flip through, just keep on watching. All right, let's get into this bad boy. So like I said, she's in my leopard portfolio and I got this super cute um, rabbit tail puffball um, on vacation. I went to visit my family in Querétaro, Mexico. And the town that they live in is known for their artisanal crafts. And they have a lot of cute little things. And so I got this little puffball for my leopard portfolio. And it's so, so, so cute. All right, so let me, um, let's move this stuff out of the way here and center this in here. All right we good okay so um she's in my leopard portfolio not much to show here i have a couple of random things in this section i have my colorful leopard sticker book tucked in here because i do like carrying a full sticker book around with me so that i can play around with it i have my rilakkuma pen in here i don't really have that much stuff back here or back here um just like a couple of random stuff but so this is my baby my functional mega happy planner as i said she has eight different happy planners combined into one and i just have the current month in here as well as a bunch of other things like filler paper and folders and things like that but i have decided to christen her i've decided to give her a name because i just wanted to you know spice things up and live my fantasy and so i gave her the name andromeda so i just looked up a bunch of celestial names and andromeda really stuck out to me so andromeda is a greek name there is a character in greek mythology named andromeda i believe she's the daughter of cassiopeia in greek in greek mythology and it's also the name of a galaxy i think it's the name of a galaxy i have to double check on that but i decided to call her andromeda no particular reason and i might even change her name at some point but <laughs> for now she's andromeda and she is my baby i call her my functional happy mega planner because she has a lot of my more serious stuff in here my work my household my budget my nonprofit work things like that and I am in her in a more day-to-day -day basis. Um, that's, you know, uh, opposed to my other baby. This is my second uh, happy mega planner, which has, I think, seven happy planners combined into her. She's a lot more fun. She's a lot more my hobbies. I am not in her as much as I am in this baby here. Uh, but let me pull her out of the leopard folio here 
and zoom in a little bit more there we go and let's get into this baby here i'm so excited to share with you all that i have been up to in my planner i've decorated so much and moved things around so i'm excited to share with you and i hope that wherever you are you have your planner out with you and you're planning and decorating because i do not uh plan or i don't watch planner youtube without my planner in front of me um just because it is a plan with me you know what i mean like i am planning with the planners i watch so i hope you're planning with me i hope you have your planner out in front of you and we're doing this together and like i said i just came back from vacation so um the last couple of spreads or last week's spreads and to some extent this week's spreads um are kind of different they're not my regular spreads because i was on vacation and some of them i did fill in still and some i didn't and you'll see how you'll see how it goes but just to let you know that um they're a little bit different the last two weeks this week's and last week's spreads are a little bit different because i was on vacation all right anyway cover page is still the same i'm still in love with my colorful leopard and my sunset name here we have the year in review and then we have my yearly overview here um and i am continuing to fill this out and work with this and um i'm happy with how i'm using it it's more functional than it is decorative for me we have my july overview um, which i've just decorated because it's the back of the perpetual calendar i have a folder with a bunch of stationery in it and then at the back i have some pushing coloring pages then I have a little envelope with some of my larger stickers in here, some of my more fancy stickers in here. Then I have my sticky note dashboard, which I have a bunch of happy planner sticky notes and then some super cute um, Daiso uh, sticky notes. And then I have just a little uh, mixed media pressed florals, Mambi sticks design here. And I have just a bunch of stickers um, on the sticker sheet glued to this scrapbook paper. And this is something you'll see throughout my planners is that I love carrying a bunch of stickers with me, but I don't necessarily want to carry all the sticker books, even though I do want to carry all the sticker books. And so a compromise that I found is if I just have one sheet per sticker book that I want to carry around, then that usually gives me enough options to play around with. So this sticker book, I mean, this sticker page is actually from this mood tracking sticker book. So I have those there. And then again, I have another sticker page here, which um, these are from the farmhouse sticker book. And I have room to fill in a couple more stickers here. But we get into my first planner, which is my mood planner. And actually, I think I'm going to take this little um, label off because it's not really my mood tracker anymore. It's more of my affirmations planner slash workbook. Um, and I'm going to say planner very loosely throughout this video because a lot of these planners I don't really plan in. They're more like workbooks or journals for me. And so this is an example of a planner that's not necessarily a planner. It's more of a journal for me. It's a skinny mini. It's from the, uh, it's, a, it's the wildflower skinny mini. And I didn't get this for this particular reason. I got it to be my gardening journal, realized it was too small, decided to uh, just play around with it until I finished it. So this was last week. Um, I left for vacation on Tuesday and then I came back on Friday and so these are kind of uh, my vacation spreads. I tend to just write one affirmation or one positive thought a day in this 
and I find that it's just it's just fun to do that and it's nice to do that and so then this is the upcoming week I'm finally getting back to work on Monday and I went with a yellow theme for this spread I thought it was really cute and then we have a blank spread and then another scrapbook page with some stickers um, a sticker sheet glued onto it and then we have more stickers glued onto my scrapbook paper and then I have my hourly schedule section. So whenever I feel like I want to have an hourly schedule, I flip to this section and I just uh, map out my day. Th these are the days that I really feel like I want a lot of structure. I have a lot of things to do. I just need to structure myself. And so I have these daily agenda sheets from the Disney Oasis collection, which I, I absolutely love adore that collection like happy planner really got us good with this collection but i'm a huge uh, disney fan mickey mouse fan and i would buy like any collection with mickey mouse in it whether that be mickey mouse in the jungle or mickey mouse goes fishing or mickey mouse like i would buy everything mickey mouse but I have um, just hourly schedules in here. I've actually made these myself. These are hungry, very hungry caterpillar style hourly schedules. Um, so this is actually the first version I, I came up with. And then I made the second version, which I really like. We have more daily agenda sheets, more hourly schedule sheets in here. And then I have a folder. This is again from the Oasis Disney collection. I just have some sketchbook paper in here. And then in the back of this, I just have some calendar stickers. And then we have my bedtime routine um, section. I'm really, really serious about my sleep hygiene. And so I keep uh, track of a lot of my sleep statistics to make sure that I am getting a good night's rest and I also keep track of my mood here as well to see um, a direct correlation between my sleep and my mood so that's what you see here I have my bookmark marking that spot more stickers on scrapbook paper and then we get into my first um, full-sized classic planner which is my news section so this actually used to be in my other mega planner and then i decided to move it into my functional planner because um, listening to the news and reflecting on the news is such a big part of my life and i tend to do it in the morning before I go to work and so I kind of like having it here in this planner. So these planner pages are from the Colorful Leopard Planner, um, which is a lined vertical. It's actually the ones that came with this cover here. And I have the July overview here and I was struggling trying to figure out how to use the July overview for a while. And I decided that um, I was gonna use it for kind of like a um, kind of like a trophy case, I, I guess is the best way I can think of to describe how I want to use this page. But basically every time I read um, a, a well-researched article from a, you know, a respected news source, I'm going to write down that article in these boxes just to kind of motivate me to read more news articles because I usually listen to the radio for my news and I don't read news as much, particularly not longer pieces, but I think it's super important to engage with news articles in a deeper sense. And so I just want to motivate myself to read more well-researched news articles. And so every time I read like a longer well-researched news article, I'm gonna write it down in these boxes and that way that's gonna motivate me and um, for these two sections here i decided to write down all of the news outlets i get my information from just to get a sense of what i'm listening to that month and in order to like motivate me to diversify what i'm listening to and then this important notes and dates section i'll probably use to make note of really important events that occur 
So that's what I'm using this section for. And then we have the August um, overview here, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. So any articles I read, I'm gonna write them down here. And because I didn't come up with this idea until recently, I'm just gonna, any articles that I read in August, I'm just gonna write them down in July's overview page. Like it doesn't matter to me that it's not the, <laughs> the month that I uh, actually read them in, but it's okay. So, and then here's the August calendar page. I'm still also trying to figure out what I'd want to do with this section. So far, I'm just writing down like really um, the most important news item that I heard that day. I'm just going to write like one thing in each box just to get a sense of like what's happening in the month at a glance. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, we'll see how that goes. The only thing I've written down so far is that New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo, resigned. That was intense. Okay, so this is the first spread in August. I went with like this red theme and um, I didn't write, in, write too much in it because I was on vacation and I was in an area that didn't have uh, Wi-Fi or cell service. And so I was really disconnected which was great because, you know, in the modern world, we're so plugged into our phones and internet and everything. So it was nice to disconnect. And so a lot of this stuff, actually, I filled in after I came back from vacation and I caught up with what was happening in the world, but I ob uh, obviously didn't fill out everything and that's totally fine. And then this is the current week here and I went with like a pastel rainbow theme. And again, a lot of this I filled in after I came back from vacation. And I'm still, uh, I'm still gonna fill out a couple of stuff here on the weekend. I just haven't gotten around to it, um, but I'll probably do that later. But there we go. And then this is gonna be the upcoming week. I'm excited to get back into my news uh, journal. It's really, really been helping me and motivating me to um to to listen to the news and reflect on what's going on in the world so there's that and then we have my sec no my third planner section and this is my spirituality and faith section i have my aztec calendar here that i'm slowly filling in and then this is um, the first, no, this is the last week in July. And then we have the August overview page. I've decided to use the August overview page uh, as a space for my new moon and my full moon rituals. So I am a hippie spirit and I follow lunar phases and the zodiac and things like that. And so, um, their um, big events like full moons and new moons are great times to reflect and journal and things like that and so um i just wanted to give myself space to do that in here so this is my august monthly i have a lot of important like planetary lunar events noted in here as well as big aztec calendar cycle shifts so those are these guys here and then this was the first week in august um so again, I was on vacation, so I didn't really do too much here. And then this is the current week and something that I've been really um, enjoying lately is doing a little Bible study. So I am a hippie child, but I am also a daughter of God. And I've been trying to reflect on Bible verses lately. And so I really like the space down here in the dashboard to reflect on a, um, on a verse. And so here, I really liked this one. This one really resonated with me. This is the name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe from Proverbs. And that was great. So this is my spirit and faith section. I really, really have been enjoying the dashboard for this because um, it's just, I don't know, I really like the format. So this is the upcoming week here. And I really like using like um, boho, uh, like wanderlust type stickers in these spreads because it really gives me that like sense of spirituality. And then here's just blank pages, more stickers on scrapbook paper, more stickers on scrapbook paper. We're going into my fourth planner section. So this is my main planner section. Um, this is 
my academic section, my work section. I am a graduate researcher and I am on the verge of finally achieving my PhD and moving on in my career and so this is all of my graduate school and career stuff and I have my August goals here on my August overview then my August uh, ca monthly calendar. I tend to save my favorite stickers for this particular planner section because it is the one that I work in the most. And so this Disney Oasis line has really been giving me life. And so I have been um, really using a lot of those stickers in this spread. So this was um, this week and I was on vacation until Friday and I did a spread because I wanted to see if I could do a couple of things um, for work but that did not happen. So this is completely blank but I, I intend to fill out the spread actually but I'm just gonna do it after the fact. And you might be wondering like, how are you gonna do that? What are you gonna do? So my plan for this to fill this out, because I do like seeing my planner filled out, my plan for this is to take notes on things that I'm reading. Like I'll, be, I'll read a paper or something and I wanna take a couple of notes on that paper. I'll probably write the name of the paper here and then write a couple notes about what that paper was about or something like that. That way I can just fill this spread in so that it looks nice and filled. And then this is the upcoming week. Again, I used the Disney Oasis stickers and I also added this super random honeybee sticker because I am a honeybee scientist. I work with honeybees and so I just like uh, seeing my little honeybees represented in my work. I'm gonna put that back in. We have just blank pages, and then we move on to my next planner section, which I am so, so excited to share with you this section because I did manage to get a lot of uh, decorating and artistic stuff uh, done in this planner section over my vacation. So this is my nonprofit section, my community service section, anything that I do, that is for any of the community service nonprofit organizations that I work with, I'm part of, goes into this section. And mainly this has to do with my science communication uh, organization I'm part of called the Biota Project. Definitely go check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at the Biota Project. And also this is the work I do as part of a science education outreach program in San Diego's jail and prison systems. So this page is the last week in July and as part of my science communication organization, I do a lot of mixed media and so I draw, I paint, um, and I doodle and I like share that as part of like content creation on their social medias. And so I like drawing directly into my planner because it really helps me just like uh, get it done because it's like right there. And so I've been really enjoying putting down these washi tape borders and then some scrapbook paper, I mean um, some sketch paper in here and then doodling and drawing on that sketch paper. So this was uh, last week in July, we have my August overview with um, just like my big ticket items here. And then I have my August calendar here with all my events going on. This is the first week in August. And then I managed to do this little mixed media art with some cactus that I was inspired by. And then this here is the current week and I really, really enjoy what I did with these stickers and the scripting. Um, so currently, right now for my science communication organization, the Biota Project, we're doing a whole uh, campaign on food science and um, the importance of eating healthy. And so I did these really, really cute mixed media things um, just to share on our social medias. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. So that is this current week. Let me pop this back in. And then this is the upcoming week here. So I have my, uh, have my little sketch canvas ready to go. And actually, I meant to, uh, I meant to like put a little washi tape border around this. I didn't know why, I don't know why I didn't, but let's do it right now. 
This is a little impromptu plan with me. All right, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Cool, so this is the um, upcoming week. And then we have my blank pages. We have my sticky note dashboard with my fitness sticky notes, uh, more stickers. And then I also have a couple of sticker sheets clipped in here as well. And then we have the last week in July, my August overview, which I really enjoy doing this. Um, I call it my 30 workout challenge. And it's basically, I have 10 workouts per um, body area, like abs, booty, and arms. And I try to do 30 workouts um, per month. And, um, and usually I don't do that many. I usually do about like 21 uh, workouts. But, you know, 30 is my goal, so I eventually want to get there. But, of course, being on vacation, I just haven't done anything. <laughs> we'll see how far I get into this challenge this month. But So this is the Rong Rong Fitness Planner. And I absolutely love this planner for fitness. And for my monthly calendar view, I like using... Um, I like stamping giving myself a stamp for every day that I work out. And this really helps me to see how many days a month I'm working out and what kind of workouts I'm doing. So at the end of the day, I kind of, I mean, at the end of the month, I kind of go back and I see how many days I exercised. And then I make a note of um, what types of exercises they were so I can get a sense of what I'm doing. So this was last week. Again, I was on vacation Tuesday, uh, through the 13th and so I didn't do a lot of workouts uh, I walked around a lot but I did not do a lot of workouts and then this is the current um, the current week here and something I've been really enjoying doing or something that I just started doing and I really want to continue it is every time I have a green smoothie I want to uh, like draw a little green smoothie in the section it kind of motivates me <laughs> to like have a green smoothie so that's what's going on here and also something that I want to do um, every week I want to count up the calories I've consumed during the week how many I burned over the week and then get a net caloric gain or loss over the week because I do keep track of how many calories I eat and I burn every single day as well as the net uh, caloric um, gain or loss per day and this is in order to like help me um, make sure that I'm not gaining weight I tend to overeat because I'm a Taurus and I love eating and food is delicious but I also don't want to be overweight neither do I want to be underweight and so I just want to make sure that my my caloric intake is healthy and I, it's, I'm maintaining it and it's sustainable. And so that's why I kind of want to get a, a weekly sense of what I'm doing calorie wise. So this is the current week. Again, I used some Disney Oasis stickers. Uh, they're so, so cute. And look how bad I was. I ate a cookie for lunch. Oh my goodness. All right. So this is the upcoming week. Um, I tend to not decorate too much in this planner because I use it so functionally and I like to write a lot of statistics in here. So this is one of the only times I will have a blue spread. I don't normally do a lot of blue spreads because it's not one of my favorite colors, but I've been really working with the blue accents in this, uh, the, these spreads. And so I've been using a lot of blue. So this is the upcoming week. I used these super cute uh, narwhal stickers and I really liked how it turned out. So this is the blank page. And then we're moving on to my next section. I have more scrapbook paper with stickers glued to the back. And then I have some household related sticker sheets clipped in here, some meal prep and recipe sheets in here i have uh, some pet stickers in here as well more meal prep stickers so this is my household section in case you couldn't tell this is uh you know where i do everything that 
uh, keeps my household running and I use a dashboard spread for this because it's absolutely perfect for this um, for my household because it has like the errands and the to buy section already and I've been really enjoying that. So this is the last week in July, and then we have the August overview here. I don't really tend to use the August overview very, uh, like, I don't really use it a lot. Um, I tend to decorate it. I like decorating it with these Pusheen coloring book uh, designs. But I do have some monthly goals uh, related to my household here. Um, don't really use the important dates section, but this is the August uh, monthly overview. Again, I don't really use this overview too much. Um, I'll make notes of important things. Ugh, there's a mosquito just flying around wanting to, to bite me. Ugh. Um, but anyways, so this monthly calendar view I don't tend to use very much. Um, I just kind of make notes of important household events in here, like when I need to do my aquarium maintenance, uh, I'm trying to have a garage sale next weekend, so things like that. Um, my vacation I, I, I highlighted here, but yeah, not too much going on here. And then this, this month, or this week, so this is really funny. Um, I was on vacation this entire week. Well, I mean, from the third through till next week. And unlike all the other spreads in my planner, I really can't do too much in my household section uh, on vacation um, because I am not at home and I can't do anything and neither can I like back plan for this se section either. So I just decided to go out on a limb and do something really, really fun and, you know, uh, out of the box. And so I had these big uh, Mambi stickers from me and my big ideas. These are the squad girl stickers and or are they the squad girls i don't know they're like the cute little girl stickers and i had some mermaid stickers as well and i decided to do this like fun beach vacation spread although i was nowhere near the, near the beach for my vacation i was actually in the mountains but um i just felt like it was major vacation vibes and so i just went ahead and had a lot of fun and completely did something super different. And this is the current week here. And uh, let me pull out my dashboard and let me pull this out as well. So this is the current week. Again, I was on vacation till, till Thursday like evening. And so I really wasn't back here um, at home until Friday. And so I don't have too much going on here either. It's kind of like blank. Um, so these pages, these are just stationary sheets that I got at Marshall's um, for weekly meal planning. And so I like using these uh, for my meal plans. And so I have that there. And then this is the upcoming week. I uh, like using the princess stickers in my household because, I don't know, I just feel like I'm the queen in her castle and the princess stickers really help me feel that fantasy so i really like my household section um i found this really cute like origami paper with this these household housekeeping designs on it at daiso and so i got some and i just pasted it in there but I really like how they're the, the Aaron section and the to buy section. These are perfect for household. I use this section here for what I call my rainbow tasks. So these are tasks that I have to do every week at some point. But it doesn't really matter what day I do them as long as I do them someday. So these are tasks that I tend to forget about. And so I just want to make sure I'm doing them. And so I have those written here. And then this little grid section down here is where I work on my morning routine. So morning routines is super, super big for me. It's like an essential thing to really start your day off. And there are a couple of things that I try to make sure happen before I you know, head out the door in the morning to go off to work. So I have those kind of written down here and reminders for me um, to get certain things done during my morning routine. 
and then I also have my little weekly meal plan guy here to uh, help me meal plan. So I'm going to pop back my household bookmark. I also forgot to put in my fitness bookmark. I'm just going to put it in next week uh, since it's almost next week. Okay, okay, so we're let's get back to where we are. So we got my household. My household section is probably one of the sections that is a little bit undecorated and sparse when I start the week because I tend to fill it in as I go throughout the week or like I'll fill it in the day of like Monday I'll kind of like write down the things that I need to do and so it gets filled up throughout the week so I tend to not decorate it too much. And the last section in here is my budget section. I'm not going to flip through this because it has a lot of my financial information in it. But I have a bunch of budget stickers here. I have, um, this is the uh, August monthly overview. The August divider is so cute. Um, the monthly just has my bills on it. And then the budget pages are from the Savvy Saver budget planner from the Happy Planner. So that is that. And the last thing in here is just my spare filler paper. So I have a bunch of filler paper here um, of different types in case I ever want to reach for one of those. So that is the entire flip through of my mega planner known as Andromeda. I love her. She is wonderful. She helps me um, stay organized and have fun while I do it. So thank you so much for checking out this flip through and I will see you in my next video. So thank you so much for checking out this planner flip through of my beautiful Andromeda. Be sure to check out my um, upcoming video which is going to be a flip through of my beautiful Cassiopeia Happy Mega Planner which has a bunch of other more happy planners combined into her. I'm super excited to share with you what I've been up to in this one because I also um, played around a lot with her over my vacation. All right everyone, talk to you later. Bye!